Police Update. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button down below because we cover a ton of 90 Day Fiance right here on the channel. All right, guys, so let's get right into it. So the news with the Darcy and Georgie wedding just keep dropping. So just yesterday we did a video about their wedding that happened over the weekend. And as soon as that video was done, more news dropped about Darcy and Georgie and also the Darcy and Stacy show. So when we did that video, we spoke a lot about what happened, you know, Darcy getting married to Georgie. And a lot of people didn't see that coming just because it looked like these two were done. And Darcy was even basically looking for a new boyfriend. And she had even found one at one point. But then you kind of cancel all of that and they're back together and now finally married out of the blue. Well, right after we did that video, more news came out that the Darcy and Stacy show might have been canceled by TLC. So lots of questions we have about what's going on because when I spoke about the marriage, the wedding that took place, I said that, you know, they're likely filming this for an upcoming season of the Darcy and Stacy show. Well, perhaps not. So let's take a look. Now, this is on um, TV season spoilers. And uh, let's take a look at what it says here. Now, the news was dropped by the Mary Pants Instagram account, and we're going to get to that in just a moment. So, Nadia Day Fiance Darcy's show canceled as TLC declined filming her wedding? Question mark. Darcy Silva initially started off her journey from Nadia Day Fiance and ended up getting her own reality show because of her immense popularity. Hence, the network decided to give her her own spinoff, which has been a part of the reality TV realm for a few years now since 2020 so it's been a little over three years but now it seems that things are changing recently viewers were in shock when they got to know that the network had canceled darcy's spinoff not only this but the makers also declined to film her wedding as well but why what is happening now lots of questions so yeah tlc declined to film and perhaps cancel the spinoff darcy silva has been making it uh you know to the headlines because of her secret wedding these days now you know we're saying secret but let's be real here this is not secret when i did the video yesterday we were looking at the person you know the alleged photographer that reached out to an instagram 90 day fiance account and allegedly dropped the news that the photographer uh, was approached by I believe Michael Landon uh, who works for Darcy Silva and was asked to do you know to photograph the wedding for free and then the person denied it and then they went and reached out to an Instagram account and asking to remain anonymous uh, and so this is how this whole thing uh, started happening but then we saw that on John Yates's account he actually had pictures of the wedding which are the pictures that you see here uh, John Yates dropped these pictures I think two days ago and then yesterday while well, Mary Pants came with some more information so um, yeah so she finally walked down the aisle with Georgie Rousseff after they had a chaotic bond for years the 90 Day Fiance celebs relationship has been a part of her Darcy and Stacy spinoff, which had four seasons in total until now. Now, fans were initially waiting for season five until they got to know that the network has allegedly decided not to renew it for another edition. Uh, recently, a source claimed that TLC professedly chose not to film Darcy and Georgie's wedding. So this clearly means that their big day wouldn't be part of the show at all. And this is on the Mary Pants account. Let's go and check it out. So Darcy's low budget revenge wedding. Um, this is what uh, Mary Pants is saying here. And uh, there's a bunch of uh, slides here. So this is the picture of them from from their wedding this past weekend. Uh, and we see Darcy, you know, here we see Georgie here. And supposedly this was a very low budget wedding. And uh, from what I've heard, there was only like 20 people invited or so. And, you know, at the time when I went over that information, it sounded off to me because... You know, I thought this would be a bigger wedding. I thought the TLC crew would be involved. I just thought there would be a lot of fanfare around it. But now it seems like this was just a very small wedding indeed. And perhaps no TLC crew is there. I'm not sure if I really buy that. This could be a ruse. This could be a plant. This could be a way to make us, you know, uh, more interested in what's going on with Darcy. And then TLC can come with the shocker announcement that, hey, we actually finally decided to renew the show after all. Either TLC is playing game with us or Darcy and Georgie are trying to play games with TLC, in my opinion. But I feel like there is something more that meets the eye 
with all this news and all this uh, information about this wedding. So let's scroll through the uh, pictures here. Darcy's wedding. Darcy and Georgie made it official and finally tied the knot on November 11th. The private intimate event took place at the Connecticut home where all four of them currently live. Darcy, Georgie, Stacy, and Florian. The warm and cozy celebration had now it's 15, so 15 friends and family in attendance, including the bride's two daughters, sister, parents, and friend uh, Reina. The wedding was officiated by a close friend and followed by a reception style, not a sit down dinner. The festival lasted about four hours. I've been told that there was no professional photographer and no professional makeup artist. The whole event was put together within three days. Uh, the honeymoon was postponed for a later date. And if you guys can see, you can see the pictures here. And now we're also getting a picture of Florian and Stacy, which we hadn't seen until now. It's not the best quality, but we can see that Florian and uh, Stacy were also in attendance here. So, um, yeah, now so now it's 15. Uh, you know, the, the number just keeps going down and down every time that we look at the story. Bad news. Allegedly... The network declined to film the wedding for TV, so we won't be seeing it in an upcoming future show. Their show, Darcy and Stacy, was canceled this past summer and will not be coming back for a season five. Now, this is, I believe, the first time that we hear about this. So this news is dropped by Mary Pants on Instagram. So let's give credit where credit is due. And I believe it's the first time we hear about this. So there's been tons of speculation, of course about what's going on in the new season and you know obviously this wedding that they're filming obviously had to be for the season but supposedly not so it begs the question what is going on with darcy and georgie are they really fully back together and madly in love to the point that after four seasons of having their own spinoff or georgie being a part of the darcy and stacy spinoff they were not able to get married but then as soon as the show is allegedly canceled they get married in this kind of private wedding i don't know there's something about that that bothers me for some reason i feel like perhaps it's true that it was canceled and also we have to look at the source here we have to wonder how did mary pants get this information who was dropping this information because this was previously unknown information is this coming from darcy and stacy perhaps now look if you know, TLC did indeed cancel their spinoff, then I guess they don't have NDAs anymore, and so they are free to say whatever they want. Now, why did they wait so long? Because they did put out hints before, you know, back in September. There was hints. We went over that in the video we did yesterday. If you guys didn't watch it, go and watch the video we did yesterday for more info on that. But there was hints put out in September, I believe, by Georgie, saying, you know, 11-11 is the date. It's finally happening. So it's not like this wedding came completely out of the blue. The hints were definitely there. They were definitely dropped by, you know, by Georgie and, and, and Darcy as well. And so uh, it's something that we kind of saw coming a little bit if we were paying attention to what they were saying. So, you know, I think this might be Darcy or, or Georgie. It might be the Silva family that is dropping all these hints. My theory, and you guys can let me know what you think. My theory is that perhaps it was indeed canceled. And they're trying to push the envelope by getting married and saying, TLC, look, we actually have a story. I know that we've been kind of boring the last couple of seasons. I know that nobody is watching because let's be honest, if the show is canceled, it's because nobody is watching, right? I mean, TLC wouldn't cancel a show that's getting eyeballs, that's getting viewers. They would just keep rolling with it. So obviously the Darcy and Stacey show is hurting in terms of ratings. And so they're trying to spice it up. They're trying to stir it up, and I think that they figured Darcy and Georgie, and obviously Stacy and Florian, they're all involved in this, figured that this was the best way to do it. That's just my opinion. You guys let me know if you have any other theories about what's going on there. Um, and, um, yeah, supposedly Tom and um, Ma Mariah, I believe, uh, we haven't really spoken about these two in a while, also got married. So, um, you know, this is not a part of today's topic but since uh, mary pants is deciding to drop all of this news we'll talk about it a little bit so yeah tom and mariah also got married so uh you know congratulations are in order to another couple tom and mariah got married earlier this month as well the wedding i'm told took place at a tropical wedding destination and was filmed to be aired this upcoming january on 90 day diaries i don't have more details in this for now but i want to wish them the best and can't wait to see them 
on their special day on the show. So we're going to see Tom Brooks back, uh, you know, on 90 Day Diaries. I don't know if you guys are excited about that. Tom Brooks, of course, being Darcy's ex. And so that's kind of how it's related to this whole Darcy news. Uh, let's see what else, uh, you know, uh, Mary Pan says here. So sources close to the situation have told me that when Darcy got wind of Tom's upcoming wedding plans, she started putting in calls to cast members, his friends and producers to find out all the details. It's apparently common knowledge in her circle that Tom is the one that got away and Darcy expected him to come back to her one day. I don't know what you guys think about that. So the way this is written here is kind of like Darcy still has feelings for Tom. Perhaps Darcy got married because she got wind of Tom getting married as well. So she was trying to compete with Tom. I, this is just kind of messed up in my opinion. When she got confirmation that indeed Tom and Mariah had walked down the aisle, it set Darcy into motion to plan her own wedding. In just a few days, everything was put into place. And as we saw from an earlier post, she did request that most of the professionals, photographers involved, provide services for free. And if not, then she just made do without it. Fun facts about Darcy. So she's married. She is a two pack a day smoker. Her cosmetic procedures are done for free. So the, these are all the slides that we got here. So tons of juicy news here uh, today, guys. I also didn't know that Darcy was a two pack a day smoker. So uh, more information that, that we're lear learning here. So <laughs> lots to unpack, guys. Let's see what else is in this article here. So um, not only this, but uh, Mary Pants confirmed that the network had canceled the Darcy and Stacey show. It revealed that it took place this past summer. And, um, you know, as per the source, they were not, there would not be a season five. Apparently, this came after Stacey and Florian Weddings uh, was a part of season four, and an entire segment was dedicated to it. Fans feel that there is a fair chance that the makers weren't planning to have another edition of Darcy's spinoff, so they took a step back when it came to filming Darcy's big day. Darcy exchanged vows in a secret ceremony. So uh, we kind of went uh, over this right here. So the wedding lasted about four hours, and uh, apparently Darcy and Georgie decided to postpone their honeymoon for a while now because of unknown reasons. So currently they're living with Stacy and Florian in their house in Connecticut. So my theory here is that the reason why they're postponing the honeymoon is because they are hoping that TLC comes calling and perhaps we'll pick them up perhaps on another spinoff. Now, I think that if Darcy and Georgie wanted to be featured on 90 day diaries or some other kind of, lower grade spinoff by TLC. I feel like they could, but that is a downgrade from having your own spinoff than getting featured on a show that nobody really watches is a downgrade and probably would be considered a bit of a slap in the face. Now, you know, there's a possibility that if this indeed drums up enough buzz, enough people talking about it, TLC will will come calling back. Uh, we'll see about that. You guys let me know what you think about all of this news. Let me know in the comment section down below. Do you guys buy that Darcy still has feelings for Tom? Do you think Darcy was competitive with Tom? And do you think that's the reason why she got married was because she heard that Tom got married? I somehow don't know that Darcy is that childish myself. And as we said before, we got a whiff of Darcy and Georgie's wedding back in September. Georgie's post is still on his Instagram and we can still uh, see it there. Uh, you know, like if we look at Georgie's account right now, we'll still see that he was hinting at this back from September. And so it's not exactly a huge, uh, shocker. So this was on September 20th, right here. He posted a picture of himself. He said, it's finally happening. And then he hashtagged it 11, 11. Uh, you guys can't see that here it is. So he hashtagged it 11, 11, and it's finally happening. And so you can see that you know, Georgie did indeed uh, hint that this was happening a couple of months ago. So I don't know. You guys let me know what you make about this whole thing, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a big thumbs up. If you did hit that subscribe button down below for more content right here on the channel. And I'll see you guys very soon. Take care.